the homemade discharger, high current discharger for 2S uh, LiPo. Uh, cheaply made using this old um, like aluminium box, a bit like a biscuit tin, but this was from an aftershave gift presentation box uh, rather than throw it away. Uh, we've used um, this GT Power uh, uh, display unit. Uh, shows watts, uh, amps, and uh, voltage, so that's quite useful. We've wired it up inside. We've wired up uh, six one ohm resistors in parallel, 100 watt each. Bought from China, pretty cheap. You can wait a few weeks for them to come. Uh, wired in parallel, giving you point point one about point one seven ohms, uh, which with an eight volt battery is about. Uh, well, be about 45 amps, but the voltage drops pretty quickly, so it should draw about 40 amps. Uh, a fan each end just to blow air in and suck it out to keep it down. Uh, they've been screwed to the bottom of the aluminium case and wired in parallel. Use some decent uh, wire for the power, and uh, it doesn't get too hot actually. So um, we're going to connect this up and. Uh, Got a fully charged, though it's quite an old battery, fully charged. So you connect up the wires. Oops. And it starts up, switch this to watts, and um, let's try and get a display that's not reflecting. And about there. Showing uh, voltage drops pretty fast on the battery, 7.7. .7. Uh, it was about 40 amps. 38 amps now, and there's the uh, ampere hours. So with a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, which is six ampere hours, uh, you'd expect the amps uh, hours at the end of discharge to be getting on that way, but um, it won't be that high. Uh, the voltage drops pretty quickly, and so the amps goes down as well. But it won't take long, about, um, less than 10 minutes to discharge the battery. Uh, this, you have to disconnect it when it hits 6 volts. The voltage starts dropping really quickly when it gets below 7. You have to keep an eye on it because it will hold the voltage and then suddenly it will go flat. And you don't want to um, run it dead flat because it will damage the battery. You might even swell it up. Anyway, the ambient temperature in here is uh, 19 degrees. Uh, actually, 20 degrees. And the battery already is um, 30 odd degrees. So we measure it at the end of the discharge as well. Uh, put some, some little rubber feet on this as well, uh, just to keep it off the table. Uh, we screwed the um, resistors to the bottom of this case with uh, put a little heat sink, heat transfer compound under them as well, just to make sure the heat goes to the case. The case is not hot at all, uh, which is good. It vibrates a bit with the fans. And nice warm air coming out at the end. So um, it's already discharged 1,200 milliamp hours, so this uses ampere hours, so it's um, 1.3 uh, voltage is, does drop you check these wires don't get hot, if they get hot you need some thicker ones, they're warm you could run much thicker wires if you wanted, but uh, I haven't bothered so the cost of making this thing, the resistors were only about uh, less than 10 quid I think uh, this meter, well I sell these for £15, you might uh, buy them, might cost you a little bit more. And you need some wire and uh, some uh, fans, not too expensive. You might get away with no fans, but I think uh, to get the heat out of the box, otherwise it'd be like an oven or you'd have to cut holes in it. Um, we put a timer on it, it's uh, three minutes. And it's uh, coming up to two ampere hours. 
This battery is quite old by the way, so it's not uh, very high. It hasn't got a lot of performance in it. It's been used a lot and abused a lot. Uh, still only 36 degrees. Okay, coming up to seven minutes. Uh, it's taken out four amper hours, 4,000 milliamp hours. The voltage is 695, the current stop is 31 amps. This box, by the way, is only um, in the 30 degrees. It's not too hot at all to touch, and the battery has got to. Seven degrees C. Yeah. You have to keep an eye on the voltage when it gets towards the end of the uh, discharge because it will drop like a stone. But I expect with this battery about five ampere hours a minute ago, I think. Uh, unfortunately, with this this meter when you disconnect the battery the display goes off so you have to remember what the display says if you want to see the 8 ampere hours which is coming up with 5 shows the watts as well 6.4 it's going to it's dropping now we'll wait till it gets to 6.0 You can hear the fans begin to slow slightly, and then it'll start going really down quickly. 60741 goes, it goes really fast at the end. And the battery's temperature is 53 degrees C, 54. And you don't want to get a battery above 65 degrees C, they normally swell at 65 degrees C, so that's about ideal. The box is not hot. The time was about uh, when we stopped it was about what? Eight and a half minutes. About eight minutes thirty seconds, so it doesn't take long. A brand new LRP six thousand fully charged on the discharger now. How many, how long has it been on? Uh, 4,000 milliamps for 4 ampere hours, still holding 7 volts, but the temperature is uh, lower because the new battery doesn't have uh, much of an internal resistance. In theory, a perfect battery would have no internal resistance and you wouldn't be able to heat it up because it wouldn't be able to generate any resistance. So we'll just check see how, what this runs for, but um, I don't think we're going to get the temperature up as far as the old battery. It's coming near the end. It's over 5 ampere hours on the display. It's been running for nearly 10 minutes, 9.5 minutes. Exactly 10 minutes temperature. What's that? 42. Mm -hmm. I've still got the 42 feeling it. It's just nice and warm to hold. So that was a brand new battery, uh, fully charged and fully discharged. So, um, homemade. Uh, the charger costs you about 10, 25, 30 quid max, I should think, if you've um, used some wire and stuff laying around. 